Hi, my name is Ray Chambers and I'm an ICT teacher from Lodge Park Technology College in Corby, North Hampshire. Now, what I'm going to show you in this video today is how to program the new Connect SDK and I'm going to show you how you can use the mouse cursor to move things around. Now, the first thing I'm going to get you to do is open up your code, which I've already got open here, and I want you to just add in two things for me so if you type in using system dot threading and using system dot runtime dot interpol services now once you've added that in what you'll need to do is underneath main window if you type in dll import, open your brackets, user32, close your brackets, and close those brackets again. Next thing we're going to do is go public, static, extern, int, and we want to set the position of the cursor. And then we're going to set up our constant mouse event f move equals zero times one now what these are are different mouse events and we're emulating the movement so we've got left click down equals two private cons in mouse event left up so when they let go of the mouse this is what happens and we're going to do private cons int mouse event f right down equals zero 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 eight now, next thing we need to use the DLL. So if I import that again, user32.dll, we're going to use a character set. Auto. Standard call, and that's the main block of the code set up. We just have one last thing to do public static extern void mouse event int w flags int dx int dy int c buttons int dw dw extra info the next thing you need to do is we need to go down to our gesture which we set up before so if you see here here's our process gesture and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to remove all of this code out as we don't need it. Whoops, I'm sorry, that's just jump. Uh, what you'll notice here is that you can either use the process gesture or you can comment it out. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to comment this out so that it's not moving those and I'm going to comment this out now what I'm going to do here is set up the joint movement so I've got joint and I want to scale the joint 
like I've done up here, I want to scale the joint so that it only moves within the size I've gave it. So I'm going to type and right dot scale to and the width I've set my program to is one two eight oh five seven twenty. We've got int top of screen, int left of screen. So we've got left of screen equals, and I'm going to convert it to an integer. screen and the Y value is up and down on the screen just so you know mm -hmm. just give me a spelling error there we need to be careful with that uh, and Fred dot sleep for one. Now the only thing this one's going to do is move it around to one two eighty by seven twenty. So if I go back to my code mm -hmm. you'll see that that won't scale that properly. So what I need to do is make sure it's 990 by 600. By 600. And now when I play it, what you should notice is that the mouse cursor follows it around. So if I run it, So it's actually following my hand around. So see if you can have a play around with the mouse cursor and see if you can do something along those lines. So 